Welcome back to the Computer Basics series with Mike Wood. Today we are going to be talking about downloading images from retail sites. So, for example, uh, and this, this goes for any site, it's not just retailers, any website, this is going to be how you download an image. Okay. So first off, be sure that you are using uh, Google Chrome. That's uh, um, something that we, we always recommend because the Chrome browser will work better than uh, most any browser um, will work for you. So let's make this quick and simple. If we want to find an item uh, here in uh, ThinkGeek, for example, and uh, download it, let's say we go into this one here and make it this quick. Honestly, don't, don't waste too much time looking around at everything the sites have to offer. Um, it, it's just it's not that important. Find an item as quick as you can and get it listed and list as many of them as you can. Uh, there's time for analyzing later, but uh, uh, too much analysis is just going to slow you down. Just about anything will sell. All right, so notice what I did there. Uh, we've got a small image here. We want to click on it to get the larger image. And then to save that to our computer, we simply right-click, and that gives us this menu here. Uh, if uh, you're not getting that menu with a right-click, you can try a control and then left-click. Uh, or on a Mac, a command and left click or command and click will give you the same menu. So what we're looking for is the save image as. We do not want save, we do not want save as. It must say save image as or possibly save picture as. And so we click on that after we've enlarged the image. And that will bring up a window showing us our computer, asking us where we want to save the file. And up here, uh, it'll be either up at the top or down at the bottom if you're on a Windows computer. But it'll have the file name. So the save as is the file name. And then it'll have a format telling you the format. And uh, if this says JPG or JPEG, then we know we've got an image file. It could be G GIF or PNG. Um, or BMP, those are all image files, but if it says HTM or HTML, that's an HTML file, that is a hypertext markup language, that is not an image file. And so if you've got that, then you're, you're not saving, you didn't click save image as, you clicked a save as option and it's saving it wrong. So make sure you're clicking save image as, and then name the, the image, if it's just got numbers in there, name it according to what it is so that you know what the item is and then choose where you want to save it and it could be as simple as your desktop over here on the left hand side you can just click desktop and then you could save it right there if you have a Dropbox um, folder and Dropbox account created then you could go there and save it in there that's just another folder basically on your computer even though it's not directly on your computer it's a cloud storage folder but you can save these anywhere you want to. If you want to create a new folder, then we can go to, say, desktop, and you'll usually have a button somewhere, either at the bottom, like I do here, or up at the top somewhere that says New Folder. If you don't see the option there, then just come over into this section of the screen and right-click. Well, on a Windows computer, you can do that anyway. I can't seem to have that on my Mac, but if you right-click, you might get an option to create new folder. But if you've got the button, you can just create it there, and we can say eBay, and we could create a folder called eBay. And then we could save that in that eBay folder. And so now our image is saved there on the, uh, in our eBay folder. Now if we want to go to eBay and upload it, uh, we can upload it from there. We're not going to uh, go through those details. I show that in my other uh, video. Uh, one question that you might have is what is the size of the image and uh, this one looks like it might be uh, between 400 to 500 pixels because a pixel a um, hundred pixels is equal to an inch and so if you're looking at your computer screen if you're on a regular computer then usually it'll be real size so this right here looks to be about five inches um, by maybe four inches uh, is probably what that is. So I'd say um, five, uh, 500 by 400. Now, if we're not getting big enough images here, 
Then we can copy this, highlight that, right click on the highlight and copy. Go to a new tab and just do a search on Google. Paste that in and do a search. And then once we've done a search, then click images underneath here. And then that shows us our images. And you can see right here, ThinkGeek, so it's a, the image is actually 600 by 470. You can see that showing up right here. But that's not this small image. This small image is called a thumbnail. And in order to get that bigger image, we would have to click on the small image, and that shows a larger image. Okay, And this is the one that we, we could download. Notice the, the size of it, though, 600 by 470, so that's still too small because we need 500 on both sides. And so what we can do is here in Google, we can go up to Tools, and they move this from time to time, but right now it's Tools and then Size, and we can just say Large, or we can say Larger Than. So we can say, hey, we need it larger than 640 by 480, for example. And that will usually get us something that's big enough to work. So here's one that says it's on eBay, 637 by 500. Here's a 1200 by uh, 600. And so we could click on that, and that's big enough. It's at least 500, and we could right-click. We do not want Save Link As, and we do not want just a Save As. We want this right here, Save Image As. So again, Save Image As, and there it is uh, in our eBay folder. It's defaulting to where we were before, and then we could save the image. And this way we know it's a big enough image because we saw the a pixel size there. We clicked on the small one to get the big one and we can download the item. So that's how you download images from any website. It doesn't matter whether I'm downloading an image from PayPal, um, which this doesn't have an image to download actually. These are all um, HTML files. That might be an image. Nope, HTML file. So notice that if I go right click, it doesn't give me a save image as, it's just save as. And that's just going to be, I'll show you. Web page, see? Format is web page, and that's not what we want. So we've got to make sure we're downloading an image when we see that. We don't want to save links, we don't want to save web pages. So whether we're going here and saving an image, um, or Google and saving an image, we look for that same thing. Okay? So I hope that helps with how to save images and download images from websites.